Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. I'm currently in the process of setting up this part to mill a hex into this end of it. To do that I'm going to use this hex collet block to align all the faces and I'm using the, the vice stop to make sure that I realign it exactly for the first time in anger since I made it. So this is the first time I've ever had to set up this vice on the table with the vice stop attached and I've come across a problem. I can't get the clamping set in past the vice stop with the standard length clamping rods that are long enough. So I'm going to need to make a custom length clamping rod to fit underneath the washer here. Even with a perfect length piece of threaded rod, the clamp will only just fit under, so I measured the required length pretty carefully. It's as easy to make a pair as it is to make one. The threaded rod stock is 303 stainless. This grade is very difficult to part off with this diameter, but I used the parting tool to cleanly remove the thread before cutting the sections with the bandsaw. The rod fits under the vice stop, but is too far out to allow the step block to engage with the clamp. I worked around this by using a T-slot nut to raise the step block up so it could be located further from the vice, clear of the clamping rod. The second problem I had while machining this uh, feature is that the part is very, very extended from the chuck and the part that's held in the chuck is really, really small diameter compared with the overall size of the part. This doesn't feel flexible, but it's definitely going to be able to move around under the cutting forces way more than I'd like. I thought it should be possible to use this V-block to hold the part in place and give it some more rigidity as long as I could find a way to support the V-block in place. To do this, I made some improvised jacks. What I really need here is a proper machinist jack. I have plenty of experience making these for other people, but I've never gotten around to making any for myself. Each of the jacks is based around an ordinary off-the-shelf cap screw. To make it easier to adjust, given the smooth outside and the fact that the top is being used to support the V-block, I added these off-the-shelf flange nuts. The nut is screwed up against the bottom of the cap, then tightened firmly to ensure they can be tightened and loosened without becoming detached. Finally, I use an off-the-shelf T-slot nut to secure it to the T-slot. The jacks are roughly in place, but lowered with plenty of clearance. With the V-block held against the part, I then finger raise the jacks. I can now very lightly tighten them but avoid placing any force that might lift the part out of the vise. It's not critical that the V-block is level because the V engaged with the curved surface of the part just as well whether it's off level or not. The setup is a bit Heath Robinson but it works. The part is more stable and the cutter chatters less. Most importantly the vice stop worked fine. This setup has highlighted the need for better clamping hardware and a proper set of jacks for my own shop which will all go down on the projects list. 
I hope you found these improvised setups interesting. I'll keep making videos like this as long as you enjoy watching them. Mm -hmm.